cameras at home, but we're recording on my phone. I'm sure it's not the best. Right now, first thing we gotta do is haul this load of beans to town so I can get this truck empty so we can continue to cut some soybeans this afternoon. I'm also gonna stop for lunch because if you're a OG subscriber, you know my friend Winter. Winter is in town hanging out with me, so we're gonna grab lunch, but she's actually leaving today. So after we eat lunch, she's gonna head out. Yeah, so that's the plan for right now. We're also having some issues, which we had these issues for a while. I just can't really remember if I talked about them on YouTube or not. The airbags on the back of the trailer have a hard time airing up. <laughs> what I usually do whenever I get started. I'll start the truck, let it build air to where I can release the brakes, and then I'll just let it idle with the brakes released for a little bit to help build the airbags back here. And then once we get to the elevator, I tell them to not dump the airbags. We just got back from hauling that load of beans. Stopped for lunch. And now we need to unload the grain cart so that we can get it empty and finish up this field. to unload this and then I'm gonna come back for the littlest tiny bit but I guess it's a good problem to have all done okay I just unloaded the grain cart onto the truck now I'm gonna go over here back to the combine I'm gonna take the header off I'm gonna fold the extension down and then I'm gonna take it up to the shop and fuel it up 
That way, whenever I get back from hauling this load, it'll be ready to go to the next field. So far today, everything is going as planned. I'm gonna put the extension down first so that I don't forget. First thing we gotta do is take the zogger down. Now I'm going to drive over to the header cart and we're going to put the header on the wagon. Woo! First thing we have to do is take the pressure off the head. We run it at 600 ish in the field and we're going to raise the pressure all the way up to put it on the cart. I think it goes to like 2400. All right, we're gonna call that good. Now, we're gonna go unhook the two PTO shafts, um, the single point with all the hydraulics and the electrical stuff, and then we're gonna unlatch it from the feeder house and we'll set it down on the trailer. All right, this is gonna have to do. I apologize. Put the first PTO shaft off. All right. Got the combine up to the shop, cleaned some of the windows. Now we're gonna haul this load. Dad has recruited some help to get all the equipment moved out to the field and then he's gonna haul what's on the red truck. And everything will be empty. I'm gonna roll my tarp and we'll be good to go. 